Welcome back to more trails. In the last episode, we made it here to the town of Bose, and we went and talked to Lugren, who heads the Bracer Guild here in in Bose. And in this episode, before we start getting on to anything else, we want to make sure to go into here, because we had a quest from uh, Father Divine, I think it was, from Roland, to deliver a letter to this guy, Father Holstein. So we want to make sure and get this done before... We go too much further because if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the time was it, was it was a short time frame. So I want to make sure that this doesn't expire. <clears throat> Since it's such a simple quest to do, and we we're here already, so it's something we don't we have to go too far. Also, get some information on Father Divine here. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> I like the way she says that. Yeah, har har har, whatever. <sighs> Yay, quest complete! Fortunately, even though we got the quest in Roland, we don't have to backtrack all the way to Roland. We can just go over here to the, the guild here in Bose and report it here. Thankfully. Because that would be a pain in the butt if we had to backtrack all the way back to Roland to turn in that quest. So, with that out of the way, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm probably going to get, get uh, focus this video more on getting side questy stuff. So, like, for, for example, right here, I'm going to go ahead and get this one done. Even though it is long-term, so it won't be a while before it expires. But I still want to go ahead and get it out of the way. Just as soon as possible. So Plus, um, on the way, we might actually run into the monsters that drop the tender poultry. So, kill two birds with one stone. No pun intended. Considering the, the enemy that drops it is, is actually a bird. So, it's not that bird. But it's a different kind of bird. Hopefully they appear on the way. I don't know for sure though. Speaking of this bird, we actually I don't think we've actually fought this thing, so let's let's fight this guy. Aren't they weak to fire? Yes, they are weak to fire, okay. There are three of them, which makes it kind of annoying, but Shara can I think I believe I believe Shara can actually one shot these guys with a, with one fire spell, which is really nice. Oh, come on, Estelle. Why you miss? Yeah, there we go. Excuse me. One shot, one kill. You know what, Joshua? Dual strike this guy. Didn't kill him, unfortunately, but he's close. Oh, yeah, that's right. One of the things about these guys is that when they attack your party members, they might knock them down. Like they just did to Joshua, which is unfortunate. That just basically means he can't do anything until he recovers from that. I think you can actually heal that with, like, a, a status healing move, but, eh, battle's done already, you don't need to. Ooh, bird eggs. I don't think those are, let's see, okay, oh, we can make some pollocks in a shell, we might actually want to do that. And that's, like, a cheap, uh, cheap revival item, so it's pretty, pretty convenient. So... Revenue Trail, here we go. Actually, hold on, before we do anything else, what I want to do is I want to actually, um, let's see. Impede to, yeah, let's, um, I want to put on the Eagle Vision here. That way we can see, like, that guy. And let's see if we can, bleep, isn't this behind him? No? Okay. Kind of hard to tell between the front and back of these guys. I'm trying to see if I can get a preemptive attack, but I didn't, unfortunately, so, oh well. Anyway. This guy, he is weak to fire, I believe, so want to make sure to get uh, Shara. He does drain HP, though, which is unfortunate. Shara should be able to take him out with one shot. Burn! Alrighty. And you, you know what? You're going that way, so we can probably get him behind you. Yes, we can. Unfortunately, physicals don't, doesn't do very much to this guy, so... Pretty much have to just stick to magic on these guys, unless you just want to... 
you know, slowly work down their HP, but just one fire fell, fire fell, fire spell from Shara, and they're dead. So, pretty quick battle. Oh, it's not even not even worth cutting out, really. Ooh, and then there's this guy who's right in our path. Ooh, royal leaf. I wonder what that could be used for. Okay. Flavor candy, huh? I don't have any recipes for that, though. I'm pretty sure, yeah. We'll probably get some eventually. We just have to... That's the one thing... Another thing I was going to do is I was going to... What I like to do when I play this game is... Uh, actually, no. I'll, I'll explain that later once we get through with this cutscene. So this is Ravenue Village, huh? Sure is a peaceful place. Look, there's an orchard. This the village is known for its product production of fruit, but it's but it used to have a rich mining history. I've heard there's an old abandoned septium mine to the north of here. You seem to know a lot about this place. Have you been here before? Yeah, when I yeah, when I was training to become a senior bracer. During that time, I covered the whole kingdom on foot without an airliner. Wow. Why? An airliner would have been much, so much more convenient. Airliners are certainly convenient, but they only go to the five major cities. If you get used to their convenience, your attention won't reach other places. You should first travel on foot and see the places you should protect with your own eyes. It is pretty much the way your father, Cassius, recommended me to go about my training. My dad really said that? That's certainly the possibility that if an incident occurs in a place you're unfamiliar with, you could end up being getting there too late. Also, it would be pretty advantageous to know the geography when chasing a criminal. Might be a good idea for you two to take on that challenge if you have some time. I mean, we had, we did have to go to Bose on foot, so we did kind of do that already. Hold on, I believe it's. What do we have to talk to? Yeah, El, the El, Elder Ryzen. Okay. Uh, actually, before we do that, why don't we talk to these kids down here? Louis, huh? Okay. Not exactly merchants, but yes, we are kind of from Bose. Is this, oh, here's the Elder's house. Convenient. We're looking for, hello, Mr. Elder. Indeed we are. Well, if we weren't aware before, we are now. Well, that's great. We just know there's a monster up there. We don't know anything about it. Great. Lies in wait. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. That we will. But first off, before we do that, we need to find the inn, because Shara is a little bit low on health and EP. I believe this is... Oh, no, that's the general goods store. Here we go. Here's the inn. We would like a room, please. 60? Oh, wow. 60, yes. Alright. He said it's up to the north, and he said some guy named Figaro was... Uh, Guarding this, I believe this should, yeah. Yes, yes, we've heard from the elder. Indeed, we are from the Bracer Guild. We're here to exterminate the monster. Hopefully, unless it exterminate. Hopefully, it doesn't exterminate us in the process. All right, monster, where are you? Oh, hello, fallen sign. I guess somebody didn't like that sign. Hello, monster. Surely these things aren't the monster they're talking about. Oh, are you done already? Check the map real quick. Okay. He said he did say something about the mine, so we might have to go closer to the mine. How about a tear bomb? 
The chest is empty, but it wouldn't be empty if you put something in it. How about let's 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 stuff Joshua in there and leave him there? No, not really. I want to explore all the dead ends first, cause there might be chests. Also, this guy—have we seen this guy before? It seems like the kind of thing that might explode when you kill it. Ooh, they're pretty strong too. Yikes! You know what? We're getting out of here. Let's let's not fight that thing right now. Let, oh, hello. That seems suspicious. We might want to heal up before we do this. And then we can finish the rest of him with um what we have Yeah, drill meatball. Alright. Oh, death blow too. Okay, I thought it was gonna be like a monster inside. Reduced to searching empty chests? That's really sad. Death Blow 2, I believe that's a, um, it's a gem, or excuse me, a quartz. Yeah, 100% kills the enemy, but quartz breaks. So basically, it's an instant kill to the enemy, but it's only one use. So you have to, if you use it, it's got to, you have to use it wisely, so. I actually haven't used them, so I don't, I'm not 100% sure on how they work. But, um, I'll probably use them in the future sometime and figure them out. That battle took a little bit longer than I, than I intended it for, but we're close to a level up at least, so that's pretty nice. And we just got surprise attacked. Great. Yeah, I just decided to get out of that battle. It wasn't really worth it. Besides, we need to actually also we need to heal up Joshua because he's a little bit low on the HPs. All right. Uh, yeah. There we go, level up for Joshua. He didn't learn anything new, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping he would. There's no treasure chest, okay. Just checking for treasure chests and all that, you know. Okay, I think we've cleaned out everything. I want to go on just to make double sure. Oh, there was a treasure chest here, okay. Beast steak. Nope, still empty. Let me check this beast steak. Ooh, wow. 188 HP and it restores there's a craft points too. Nice. It's not something we need right now, but might be helpful in the future. So also you might have noticed the the, the um, enemies actually show up on the map, and that, I believe that's because of the Eagle Vision gem gem that I have equipped. So not only does it sh allow you to see the enemies from further, it also sh makes them show up on your map, which is pretty nice. Uh, let's see. You. Ooh, that could, that battle also got kind of close, but it's still leveled up. So yay, she got a full heal. Speaking of which, let us heal up Joshua. Um, I think Cheryl will be all right. Uh, yeah, that's where we came. Or is it? No, this is a dead end. With no treasure chest! Yay! Moving on. Let's see. Where we gotta go next? Okay, just go this way. Oh. Ooh. Earthquake! Or not. Ooh, this thing definitely looks nasty. Glad I healed up before this, okay. This definitely seems like the uh, thing they were talking about. So let's see, I don't think it's weak against anything, is it? No, but it's resistant against Earth, which I don't, actually don't think we have any Earth, to be honest. So, um, let's, I guess, throw some arts at it, because I think arts are generally more powerful than regular attacks. Ooh, clocking up might be a good idea, actually. Um. And I will use my crafts also after these, after um, all our turns gets over. We'll probably just spam the crafts since we have them charged up.
Joshua is probably finished him off too. Oh yeah, take that. And Shara still hasn't even didn't even need to use hers. Nice. You're telling me. It did say it was high. It was lying in wait. Quest complete! Yay! That was actually kind of easy, to be honest. But then again, I just I did kind of spam my crafts, so that was probably why. But before we go down, go back down, I want to look at the um, look around a little bit more, see if we can find some chests anywhere. Okay, like here, like here. Dear bomb, I am error. Show this to River Man. Yeah, let's see. Okay, that goes up to the mine. I think we'll be, we'll be going to the mine later. So I'm not too worried about going up to the mine right now. I'll just make sure to get out of here and get back to the village. Avoid that guy. I might actually do some grinding off screen between episodes now that I think about it, because it might be helpful. Alright, let's see. This way. Getting a little disoriented based on the map because I'm like confusing the mini map with what's actually going on around me. Because the mini map always faces north, or always has north on the top, and then the spinning around the camera kind of confuses me. It did indeed, but it's dead now. You're telling me it's not a problem. I mean, just spam Estelle and Joshua Craft. Bam, dead. Very simple. And it wasn't even our final form. Yay for bad jokes. Mr. Elder, we've killed the thing. And we did. Somehow? Come on. Pretty tough. Are you kidding me? Alright, so I guess we're headed back to Bo's to turn in the quests. Because it did, it did say it was completed, but I wanted to talk to the Elder and all that before I left. So I guess I'll meet you guys back at the Bracer Guild in Bo's. So on the way back, I actually happened upon this chest that we missed somehow, I guess. Revive Bomb! Yay! This chest is empty, so very empty. I feel like we've seen that before. Something like Maybe that's just my imagination. Maybe I'm just remembering things badly, or maybe maybe that was from a like a rec failed recording of an episode before or something. Anyway, Bracer Guild, where are you? You are actually back over this way, I believe. No, that's where the mayor's house is. That's not where I want to go. Okay, I was going the right way to begin with. Yay for getting lost. All right, let's report. Yay! Anything new? Or... Okay, nope. We just have this, and then... This one, I've actually, um... Off-camera, I actually looked around to try and find this thing, and I can't find it. So, either it doesn't appear quite yet, or it's in a different spot than I think it is. So I'm actually gonna wait... I think I'm actually gonna wait a little bit on that, before we do that. I think we'll actually run into it on our way to a story. Uh, some place for the story. So, what I'm gonna do now? Hello, Dorothy. That was kind of weird how she just kind of spun around in place. Wow. Okay. Sure. Don't just ignore us. Rude. Anyway. I came here to the market because I want to actually um, buy a, a few things here, specifically foods. Because what you do is if you buy a food and then you eat it, then you'll learn the recipe for that particular food. So I want to do that. Also, I have upgrades too. Let's see. What is that? Well, how much is that for? Jo how much of an increase is that for Joshua? 
41 to 40, is that 41 to 42? Really? That's not really that much, but it does increase movement. It looks like it increases movement by one, is it? Yeah. How much? You know what? That's not too much. We'll get we'll get two for um, Shara and um, Joshua. All right, and then let's go to Shara, Strega J. All right, and then we'll sell off our old spikes. Don't ask me why we are wearing spikes on our sh as shoes. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. What do you have to sell? You have ooh. Okay, you have ingredients. All right. None that I need. Oh, by the way, I should mention you can't actually flip the camera in this in this inside here. If you try to press the button, you see the little camera icon on the top right. That means you can't flip the camera. So, thought I'd mention that. Okay, I see. Nothing here looks like. Well, we got they do have milk and flour. Looks like stuff. They have stuff to make maple cookies. It looks like. Oh, I can make another drill meatball, actually. Let's let's do that. Or two more drill meatballs, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Those are still actually kind of useful at this point. Okay, pharmacy. Yeah, these bombs are kind of expensive. So I want to try to refrain from them as much as possible. Let's see. Work helmet. Laundry pole. Huh. It's less strength, but it has more reach, which is might be kind of interesting. Let's, ooh, six increase for Joshua for only 500, 500 gold. I'll take that. Or 500 Smira, excuse me. Uh, that doesn't say what they do. That seems a little weird. All right, Joshua. Upgrade. Upgrade gets. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this. And sell this. I could have sworn this should say, yeah. I don't know why it wasn't saying earlier. That was weird. Yay for glitchy game! It usually isn't as glitchy, actually. Ooh, okay. Yay, magazines that nobody reads! I don't think I've actually ever read them. I think there's an achievement, actually, for reading all the, ma the magazines in the game, but who wants to do that? See, I've already been here, but... Let's see, We there there's accessories, and we do have extra slots. Well... Estelle doesn't, but these two do. Joshua and uh, Sherizard. So, let's see. It's a thousand. Uh, for only two defense, probably not worth it. I thought there'd be a little bit more to that, actually, but I guess not. So, I'm going to go to the. I'm going to hop at the, where the um, hotel is. Where is the hotel? It is over here, past the mayor's house, which is right over there, like I said. Go visit the hotel, and then we'll probably actually vi probably actually visit the mayor today. Unlike us, contrary to what I said earlier about this being side questy, it episode hasn't been really long enough yet. Because I'm actually going to be starting to do 30 minute episodes now, because 20 minutes really isn't enough to do anything. Because 20 minutes, it only it took us 20 minutes to do that one side quest. So if I stuck to 20 minute episodes, this LP would take forever. So I think I'm gonna up, up, bump up to 30 minutes, and so we're going to head into the mayor's residence here. Do a little bit of story stuff. It is quite a gorgeous place. Calm down, Estelle. <laughs> that is the million dollar question if the mayor is indeed home. Oh, hello, it's Butler. As expected to see at a, mayor, at a mayor's residence. Oh, she's out, huh? Interesting. Oh, we were just at the chapel just earlier, too. Why didn't we run into her? It's not that far of a walk, though, so it doesn't matter. Typical wealthy person, big hat with feathers in it, dripping gemstones from every pore. <laughs> Definitely colorful. Oh, okay, so we just look for look for a girl with a maid. Yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah. Joshua took the words right out of my mouth. 
as he tends to do, actually, on a pretty... What sort of looking for? Constant basis? I don't think that's quite the word I'm looking for here. Not really daily basis, but you guys know what I mean. Anyway. Hello, this definitely looks like a maid. Still, that wasn't very polite, <laughs> I'll say. Leela, huh? Being served hand and foot, huh? The worlds we live in are really different. <laughs> Playing hooky. So you skipped out on church to go shopping. Typical. Unique personality, yeah, I would say so. Definitely sounds like a, a mayor that doesn't quite take her job completely seriously, actually, to be honest. Alright, so I guess the, we have a maid following us now. Too, too bad we can't. She, she won't wait on us, but anyway. But maybe she can help identify them, since, since we have the maid. We kind of need, need the maid to... to uh, Identify who the mayor is. The two of you should be absolutely ashamed of yourselves, trying to force up the price of food at a time like this by buying it all up. You're not fit to be merchants in bows. But, but ma'am, we were just thinking about how to increase sales for the bows market in general. I don't want to hear any more from you. If there were any other products, it would be a different story, but making undue profits on necessities would lead to negative publicity for the market. Return these goods to their original prices at once. All right, we'll do as you say. Now, I don't doubt your passion for the bows market, but I want you to understand this. Commerce, when you get right down to it, is the established relationship of trust between people. And believe me, if you do business with that in mind, you can become you can become wonderful merchants in bows. Yes, ma'am. I'd say we found the mayor, huh? She seems quite young, though, actually. If I do say so myself. We are indeed bracers. I say that every time, actually. Uh, that's probably starting to sound like a broken record. Maybell. It's quite a nice name. Mayor Maybell. Almost has kind of that little alliteration to it, almost. Free food! Can't. I, I'm not one to turn down free food. Yeah, tell me about it. Like I was saying earlier, that she's actually kind of young. Unvarnished. Quite a word you got there, Joshua. Yeah, it would be nice to go over the details. I don't think we actually had a briefing on that. Missing airship. Okay. Meaning that bracers would bring about much more desirable results concerning this incident than the army is currently producing. Don't you think you're overrating us just a just a bit? Let's just call it a businesswoman's prerogative. The fact of the matter is, an influential businessman was aboard the airliner that is you mean Cassius Bright, or are we talking about a different airliner? In addition, if the Royal Army continues to keep the, the Bose airspace as a no-fly zone, business is going to suffer. And just when business had been booming prior to the Queen's birthday celebration, too. I see. So this is an economic appeal, right? Yes, and it's something which I can't trust to be left up to the Army alone. So what do you think? Will you accept my request, my request for your help on, in the matter? Of course we will. Well, we have our own reasons for wanting to investigate the incident, and we'd like to accept the job, but... The army has been actively trying to keep exclude bracers from anything having to do with the incident. So, uh, I don't suppose you could pull the mayor card for us, could you? Maybe show the army who's running this show? Excluding bracers, huh? This must have something to do with General Morgan, then. That man has disliked bracers from the beginning. 
Does seem like she does know who the General Morgan is. Ooh. Tentatively speaking, we have a passing acquaintance with one another. So I may just be able to do something for you. Meaning... What, is she gonna write a letter or something? Called it! Letter of request to General Morgan. All right. Yeah, they were saying earlier how it's not to reveal it's, it's tell us that we're bracers. Or tell them that we're bracers. It's like we're lying or something. <laughs> yeah, Josh was Josh was right. It's not we're not lying. We're just not telling him everything. Oh, right, Haken Gate, they were talking about Haken Gate, Hawken Gate, whatever, however you want to pronounce that. I like how, like, the edge of the screen, she just kind of stopped moving and then the camera shifted upward. It's like the game didn't expect to have this big of a view or something? I don't know. They just seemed a little weird to me. Haken Kate, here- Haken Kate, wow. Haken Gate, here we come indeed in the next episode! So, next time on Trails in the Sky, we'll be heading to that place to uh, talk to General Morgan and hopefully get some information about, uh, about out of him. Out and about of him. Anyway, see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.